What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another player pack review. Today we're taking a look at the English Dulux League selection. So this is following on from the Spanish, Italian and what other do we have? Spanish, Italian and I'm not even too sure. French was it that we had um, a couple of weeks ago and at the start of eFootball 2022 as well. We will probably get more of these when eFootball 2024 launches soon which there will be quite um, or there will be news quite soon for that as well so stay locked on the channel. So we are going to take a look at a couple of the players here that catch our eye and I would say that Kyle Walker even though he's had a fairly good season for City this is only his third card I think um, if I'm not mistaken. So we do have a couple of busts in here or players that I would genuinely not be interested in getting um, but there are one or two that are good as well. So yeah I mean we have Mitrovic, uh, Maguire, uh, Podence, um, Mitchell and I would also say the goalkeeper um, that are not really going to, in my opinion, for my squad or even for my road to glory, I'm probably not even going to use them, uh, to be honest. So we will get into them in a second, but we will focus on the other guys as well. If you do want any trainer guides specifically, I will do one on Walker and Gibbs White and Nianto um, because they're very exciting players. But we will uh, we will do the rest if you guys request it. So we're going to start with the three or the four or five players that I don't think are really worth it. We've obviously got Harry Maguire. He's just super slow, good in the air. His form is inconsistent, so that is enough um, to kind of rule him out for me. I want my centre-backs to be, you know, at least up more often than not with unwavering form. He does have build-up as well, which I, I, I just, yeah, I mean, he's just too slow and too poor on the ball for a build-up play style, you know. Uh, blocker and interception is fine. Way, uh, weighted pass, heading, all grand man marking and fighting spirit. A good aerial superiority as well, but just way too slow. Even though he does go up a few levels with 20, I definitely don't think he'll he'll uh, he'll he'll make my squad. Uh, we've also got this guy as well. That he, while he is fast, he's on D rating this week with standard form. He does have double touch and one touch pass, pass which is quite nice. Um, he does have chop turn as well, which I always like with weighted pass. He's fairly good. He's got some fairly good stats, and he does go high as well with twenty two levels. You know, you're talking about um dribbling into the nineties with the boost. You're talking about acceleration, balance into the nineties. So I do like that. But there's just so many other wingers there now on the game that you can just get a winger from standard if you are going to be thinking of spinning it's not really worth it if you get him and you don't have him on d rating from next week um the fact that obviously the premier league is going to be over now and the rating is going to be locked on c i think any player that's not unwavering you are going to struggle with unless he's a favorite of yours especially when there's players a dime a dozen like that um we've also got who did we want to look at the goalkeeper robert sanchez so again just your average goalkeeper low punt doesn't have long throw um, so to me he's not even going to get a sniff at the bench let alone the starting lineup for me but then I have a god squad and even on my road to glory I'm kind of happy enough with, with the selection that I have um, so he's probably not going to be a big upgrade for me especially that he doesn't have a long throw so a bit of a disappointment one there we also have Mitrovic Again, you know what you're getting with Mitro, lads. He is a very, very good attacker, very good in the air, extremely tall, extremely good at just finishing shots, and you can get his finishing up to the 90s. He's not going to have any pace, so you just have to be able to get the ball in on top of him on his head or else turn and shoot when you get the ball at his feet. He's a lot more difficult to play with than a kind of a, a versatile. Um, the game doesn't really reward players like this, unless you're using somebody like me, like Collar. Um, that's just so good in the air with like 95 head. Um I don't think it rewards players like that. And then we also, yeah, we'll take a look at the rest of the players in a little bit more detail. So we'll just go through it quite quick, lads, because we reviewed and talked about a lot of these players. They've had multiple re uh, releases. So um, if you are a newcomer, all this might be new to you. But for us that have been playing the game for a long time, you know, we've had five, six, seven, eight versions of Romero um, and his card. So Rom uh, or, uh, Romero, I should say. Um, you know, so it's it's there's not really new to us, but I do want to go over to Football DB and have a quick look at his card because when you train it up, ten into defending, six into dexterity and aerial strength, you're going to have a monster of a defender here, right? He doesn't have blocker, but he has everything else skill wise. Um, he doesn't have unwavering form, and he is on C rating this week, but he is a destroyer, and he's got all his defensive stats in the nineties when you get that boost, which is extremely good, especially the aggression. I always like having aggression. And I always like my centre backs to have at least 70 acceleration, unless it's a very, very rare case, such as Van Dyke or someone like that. I do like having that 70 acceleration. I just feel like they get back a little bit more easier. Easier? Easier. Um, we've also got Kamara, um, Bubakar Kamara. This guy is an absolute monster. Now, he is on D rating, but as far as I know, he does have a wavering form. Yeah, he does. 
and he also has one touch pass fighting spirit interception man mark and this guy is a bit of a hidden gem i think a lot of people are going to use him after um this week with this pack he is a bit of a monster and when you see how he kind of trains up there we have it again 75 speed 73 acceleration 71 balance with 84 stamina ball control type possession low pass all in the low 80s will get a boost which is fairly nice if you have the player form arrow with the unwavering form and then the defensive capabilities are huge right absolutely huge for this guy you don't even need to go this aggressive i mean you could make him a little bit more um compatible with a, an anchorman role if you just lock that at 90 tackle and 95 aggression 84 defensive awareness and if you want to chase a lot you can obviously put that into acceleration if you want to do that or if you want to pass a lot you can bring the passing up to 85 so it's kind of whatever you want to do yourself a very very strong player we also have Kyle Walker here as well, who's down as an offensive full back. I really like Walker, and I definitely think he should have unwavering form. He very rarely misses a game for City unless he's injured. I mean, he always seems to be one of their most consistent players. I mean, Cancelo was there for a while, obviously, as probably, you know, the main man. Um, I know he was playing on the opposite flank or whatever, but, like, I think Walker has really come as a as a fantastic uh, right back in the Premier League man and it's hard to argue with him I mean he's there on the team sheet every week so I do think that he's a very good player as well we'll just go into his card here and show you um rapid pace everything there that you could possibly want <coughs> excuse me uh on a right back and he's got also got defensive capabilities as well you know very good speed and stamina very high acceleration and uh, balance and defensive awareness is fairly nice we have trained him defensively here if you don't want to train him that defensively you don't need to you can actually even go faster and get into the 90 acceleration when he gets the farm arrow going his way so that's something to keep in mind if you wanted to do that i want to concentrate on this guy as well lads um this guy nianto nianto uh for leads now we obviously know leads are gone down they got relegated but this guy is a monster man i think he could be a bit of a hidden gem double touch he's also got super sub to bring him on and if i'm bringing this guy on and i'm training him this is how i'm training him i'm training him for rapid pace 93 dribbling 97 acceleration 97 balance which is massive with 90 speed and then of course we have got lots of options as well with the passing i mean we can pop seven into the passing there if we don't want to do that we can pop seven into the finishing um if you don't want to go that you know fast with him you can pop four into passing to get his passing up you can pop another one in there and have his speed up a little bit higher there's a lot of options with this guy i would not play him any other position than a winger though i would not play him ss because of his passing there's no point his shooting and passing are both too poor that's just my opinion but as i said you can max him out with pretty much everything that you could possibly want there with the acceleration the balance and the dribbling that is the three keys that you want and i definitely think with double touch flip flap chop turn cup behind soul control and of course chip shot control acrobatic finishing and sub super sub he's a very good guy to throw in off the bench um if you're looking for somebody like that and then we last but not least we do have bruno guimeres now this guy for me lads on the surface he doesn't look like a great card right when you actually look at his his standard card there i think we covered mitchell but if we didn't i mean this guy is on e rating um so that kind of like rules him out really of throwing him into the squad but he's just pure pace i mean he doesn't have anything else but pure pace if we didn't cover him but i do want to take a look at bruno here lads he's on a rating this week he's got unwavering form he's got unbelievable player skills he doesn't have interception right as an orchestrator he's more of a passer so think of him more like kevin de bruyne think of him more of you know playing him in the middle of the pitch i would be playing him as a cmf rather than as a dmf because of the tricks and the player skills that he has and looking at his stats here you're thinking right okay acceleration is poor defense is poor all of that is poor but when you when you actually boost up his card lads you can actually get this guy to a very high rating as we see there he does have 30 levels to go which gives us a very solid 94 overall card very similar to his brazil pack card that we had here except this was a cmf and it was more attacking than that uh card that we have here um so i do like this card man i definitely do think it's worth having a look at um especially with the tricks and the skills that he does have as i said defensively if you want to get that aggression high even if you're playing him as an orchestrator in a three-man midfield he will be able to get the ball back for you all of these stats are going to get a huge boost when you do get the player form arrow up ball control tight possession low pass lofted pass aggression or not aggression sorry defensive engagement stamina 
are all going to be in the 90s, which is huge. And acceleration over 75 is always big for an orchestrator if you're using them as your main passer. So yeah, I would definitely think that this pack is fairly okay. You can clear that agent as far as I know. Um, if you wanted to clear it, it's going to cost you 1,100 coins if you were looking for somebody definite. But to me, lads, yeah, there's only probably two or three players. I mean, you should have a better center back um, than anybody here. You should have a better goalkeeper. You should have better wingers. And I would say that Kamara, um, Nianto, and I would probably say Walker and Bruno are probably the four picks. So, yeah, that is it for me. I will be back quite soon. Don't forget to check out the stream later today. Until next time, peace.